Okay, something a little different today, guys. I'm gonna shoot from this angle, and this video is for my one of my subscribers, Trina. So Trina, pay attention. I'm going to answer your question on how to um, hoop a t-shirt. Um, this is the smallest t-shirt I have, which was a size one. Uh, yeah, but it's still the same principle. So follow the principle of what I do, if you so choose. And um, I'll show you what I do anyway in hooping um, a little t-shirt ready for embroidery, the placement of everything, how far down from the, um, what do you call this? Just the neck ribbing here. And um, sorry, that's not very good English, but I can't think very quick this morning. It's too warm. It's hot here in Australia. But anyway, I am going to do this for Trina just to answer her question. However, even though I'm not going to embroider on um, this little t-shirt today, I'm actually going to embroider this design. This is for my next door neighbor. She and her hubby have just had a little baby girl, little Audrey, and this is a gift for her. So I'm actually gonna do this embroidery on um, a little bib and a bodysuit today. So, um, it, you know what? It's still the same principle. Hoop, hooping a t-shirt and embroidering on a t-shirt, to me, is exactly the same. It's just like, a little bodysuit and it's a little different but still I do the same process as in placement so I'm gonna start right from the beginning and show you how I do this so stick along guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me the thumbs up and um, you know make sure you hit the uh, bell as well oh hello Nala hello baby oh she's got a favorite little piece of ball she loves her ball and she's carrying around that little remnant of a ball um, since Christmas Day. Unreal. She destroyed the ball on Christmas Day and yet she holds on to that little piece. She's so funny. But anyway, back to the video. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to do much talking in this. I'm just going to show you. And um, I might do some voiceover and just fast track through some stuff. But anyway, this is what I'm going to get on to today. Super stoked to do some embroidery again. I haven't actually done embroidery for a good, maybe nearly two months, I think. Because um, Christmas was such a rush with all my doggy orders. Um, that the embroidery side of things just sort of took the back step for a little bit. But all good, let's get cracking with this and um, I'll show you what I do. Actually cracking up laughing. I'm watching my good friend Kim Thane, who is in the UK. She's just set up her husband. <laughs> Cheeky thing. It's very funny. I'm watching her and I'm like, I know why he is the way he is. Because he is, he would do exactly what my husband would do. Anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's this video. Um, hang on, let me have a look. Setting up my Janome 400. Let me just pause it because I want to concentrate. Okay, so I've start, I was starting to watch this while I'm actually doing this video, listening to it in the background while I'm doing what I'm doing, as you do. And I had to stop and I'm like, you're baiting him. All in fun, of course. Well, of course it's all in fun. But I knew exactly where she was heading and I knew exactly what he was thinking. That's too funny. Too funny. I know this is an older video, but I, I, I just couldn't watch some videos over Christmas while I was just concentrating on doing my own orders. Um, it, yeah, otherwise I'd sit there all day watching other people's order, um, like YouTube videos and I'll get nothing done. So I'm actually backtracking to some of her videos that I've missed and I come across this one and I thought, oh yeah, I haven't even seen her get her other um, uh, embroidery machine because she did have a multi-needle. 
but it was just a bit too much for her. Anyway, you look back on her videos and she'll explain it all. She explains it really well. She has a wealth of knowledge regarding crafts and, well, all things crafts. There's nothing this woman can do. I tell you, she can do it all. I'm a little envious, healthily envious. But anyway, she's a good friend. Um, give us some love and go and check out some of her videos and subscribe to her if you haven't anyway. But um, I'm going to go and finish watching this while doing the rest of this video. Okay. Okay, Trina, I'm going to try and answer your question as best I remember it. First of all, first, you need to make sure that your t-shirt is centered perfectly. So fold it in half, create that center uh, crease line and then line it up on your hoop. That um, you, you should have the little nodules at the top and bottom of your hoop. So just make sure it's centered perfectly on that and then fold over, as you'll see in a sec, fold over the little t-shirt and be careful not to move the placement, but you can always check it by just lifting up that um, the, the top bit there, which is actually the back of the t-shirt. And um, once you're sure that it's all lined up perfectly, um, that ribbing part of the t-shirt, I do not actually pin down, that's hanging up. So that is where I always, I always have that ribbing part of the neck um, as my guide as well. So just ensure that it's um, lined up perfectly with the nodules at the top and the bottom of your hoop and pull down ever so slightly and then in just pin it down so it's secure. Yeah, there's the little nodule thing. So you should have that on your hip, um, hoop anyway. So and use that as a guide basically. So I'm just pinning this down. There are another four pins that I will be, that I always pin on my t-shirts or bodysuits. I do them on the sides and up, up the top there where I'm pointing now and also down on the side of the hoop as well. This just ensures that the little bodysuit is nice and secure and smoothed, um, yeah, smoothed out and I also go and run it over the mini heat press just to fuse the um, tear, away, um, tear away stabilizer on the back of it. And so here, just do the trace line on your hoop with your um, t-shirt already lined up. And by this, you'll be able to gauge whether it's too high or too low, or you need lower or higher, um, bring it higher. That's what I do.
Well, I've nearly finished on this set for my neighbour and her little daughter, or well, their little daughter, Audrey. It's super cute. It's um, it's a really nice design, but I'm not too sure if I like how some of it stitches out because it's um. Yeah, there's a lot of tracking threads that I have to unpick to then get the final beautiful result. So I do like her, I will use it, but it's very painful trying to unpick these extra stitches that are not necessary being there. So it's um, a little bit of patience, but it is a very, very cute design. I like this. And my name, I asked my neighbor, what's your favorite color? And she said purple. So. And fortunately, this design actually came in purple anyway. Um, but as any design, you can change the colors to whatever you want. But I really, really like this. Super cute. And I'm nearly finished. Yay, I'm happy about that. So hopefully I will get this video up on YouTube as soon as possible. Okay, there are lots of little threads here that I need to cut. So I'm not going to drag you guys along with me. It'll be pretty boring. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you can see. There are spots on there where the, threads has, where the thread has gone, which is pointless. So I need to remove all of them and make it look a little tidy and clean. And I'll be back with the finished result. Oh dear. I knew something was missing. I forgot to do Audrey's letter initial. Thank goodness I didn't close off the embroidery machine. All right, getting on to it now. Thank you.